Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to recap the week with an analogy from Bill Esteb. McKinsey sent out an email with one of his documents he put together with 50 ways to explain chiropractic to a patient. Um, and the first one in that list is one of my favorites. We've been using it in the office and, and people really seem to get it. Uh, it talks about visualizing your health as a bank account, right? Everything healthy you do is a deposit into that account. So that includes your adjustments, uh, going for a run, eating a healthy lunch, getting enough sleep. Anything that pushes you towards health is a deposit. A withdrawal is anything that takes away from your health. That's, you know, skimping on your sleep at night or getting poor sleep. It is, you know, eating pizza for dinner, something unhealthy in your life. That's a withdrawal. Symptoms and disease come about when we have an overdraft in that account. So when the negative outweighs the positive, that's when bad things occur. We've pushed the needle too far in the wrong direction. And so we've been using that this week, talking about our sunscreen. Uh, that can either be a neutral or positive thing, or it can definitely be a negative impact. It can be a withdrawal from that bank account. So anything we talk about uh, when we go over the frames, any type of education, we can spin into this analogy of positive or negative effects on our health and where are we ending up? Are we a net positive or a net negative? And so this week we talked about the neuroendocrine immune system and the interrelation between all of those. We talked about vitamin D and its vital impact on our body. Um, and con collectively that is the third T, toxins. Last week we talked about thoughts. Uh, so putting trauma, thoughts, and toxins together, those are both the causes and the results of subluxation. So let's put it all together today. Go out there, educate those patients, blow some minds, and head into the weekend in the right way.